Welcome everybody to the Joe It's Project TV. My name is Joe. Just look up in your top right hand corner. You'll see me right there. Hope you're having a Merry Christmas. It is actually Christmas uh, evening right now. It's about 8.30 uh, p.m. December 25th. So I thought I would go and get Tar Center used and just browse around because um, I'm sure they're going to have some pretty cool things here in the next couple of days that uh, should be pretty darn uh, cool, I would imagine, on the site. So uh, let's see. What, 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 what all we got here? Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Starting at the very top, a used Taylor and acoustic. Nah, I'm not in the market for an acoustic. A used ESP black metal solid body, $4.99. Uh, nah. What? Oh, okay, used Eastman at the top right. The uh, it was a T three eight. I thought it said used Esteban. I said, you gonna tell me there's a used Esteban for six ninety nine? God damn! There ain't no way that should be happening. A used Esteban shouldn't even be on here. It should be in the garbage. So <laughs> uh, let's see. That looks interesting to me at all. Used Ernie Ball Music Man. Wow. It looks pretty cool. All right. Let's see. I don't really go on get Guitar Center used that much at all. Uh, I really don't do a lot of stuff with Guitar Center. 98% um, of my business is done on American Musical Supply because they, they let you do payments. So uh, that's what I love to do. Man, God, dog. These guitars are expensive. Man, they're expensive. Let's go to page number two. Use Gibson SG standard solid body, the second in the middle right there. Man, $1,099. Uh, I don't know, man. I know they're, they got to make money, but geez Louise. I don't know, man. I just, I just don't know. Like I said, I just like to browse on here every once in a while. I need to go on, uh, on, uh, what is it, uh, Reverb. There we go, a used EVH Stripe Series solid body electric guitar right there in the middle, six ninety nine. Yeah, that guitar usually runs about a thousand dollars, I believe. That's what mine was at the time. I don't know if they're the same now or if they've come down a little or went up rather. I don't know. Six ninety nine, man, oh man. Hmm. I already got one of those. Don't need none of those. No more of those, I should say. Not a stripes. Not a red with a white and black. There's a used Gibson right here. This uh, seven thirty nine ninety nine. What in the world, dude? Go off there. Damn, that looks good. 1970s tribute SG special solid body electric guitar. Excellent condition, 739. Hmm. Oh, it's available. It's in Greenville. That's that's the uh, guitar center that that I go to. That's that's here. Huh. I wonder if all these listings they can't be for Greenville. There's no way. That's just I just got. Oh, that's where it's going to be shipped to. Okay. See, I don't do much on here, man. All right, nah. Damn. Yeah, there's a used Fender Artist. Look to your left. Uh, series Ingve Malmsteen Stratic. I just don't like the scallop fretboard, man. I just I can't do that. Oh, I, don't, I mean, more power to people that can do it, but man, not me. There's no way. All right, now we jumped over to Reverb, man. I got I got away from Guitar Center. They just, like I said, they just don't do nothing for me, man. Anyway, we're on Reverb. This is where I got my uh, my red uh, OLP um, with the Floyd Rose I've had for I don't know a couple of years now, and uh, I, I got it from. Uh, 
a music store somewhere in Texas, I believe. Uh, and it was two, let's see, it was 250 and it was in excellent condition. And uh, it said uh, 250 or best offer. And I put 225 and they charged 25 to ship it. So, uh, you know, and that's, they had a, a, another one at Guitar Center here in Greenville. And, um, and it was 250 as well, but it was in kind of fair shape. Uh, so I took a chance and came on reverb and found the one I have now, of course. And, uh, I got lucky. I mean, I got very lucky. A lot of people don't like to buy online if they can't hold it first. Uh, like I said, got very fortunate with that. And, um, I love it. I, I wish I could find another color on here, uh, for that same price. Uh, but I don't think we're going to find one in that price range with a Floyd Rose. I just, I think that was just uh, not one in a million, but one in a couple of few hundred or something. A couple of few hundred. Um, what the hell is that? Um, needle in a haystack, right? So here's some of them here. Uh, that's like what you're looking at right here is just like my purple one I got I got now um same thing except uh I got it brand new years ago from AMS for 199 that's how much it cost me and this one's used and they want $230 they jacked the price up on these OLPs man um uh it's funny that they put Ernie Ball on there it is an Ernie Ball it, it's under Ernie Ball's name uh, but it's the main, uh, title on the headstock or the main letters is OLP. It's, it's, but it is, it is owned by Ernie Ball, but I guess this is what you would call the lower echelon of these, uh, Ernie Ball guitars, which like I said, I love my purple one, man. It's, uh, it's, it plays great. It's always played great. I've had it ever since. I just wish it, I kind of wish it had a Floyd Rose, but since it don't, it's not a deal breaker. But I just like having a Floyd Rose, man. I'm old school. I just like having that. Uh, let's see, man. Let's see what they got here as far as these OLPs. Boy, I love that one right there. That one that says uh, it's orange. It says very good condition, but look, no, no trim, no Floyd Rose. Here's a Floyd Rose. It's, uh, it says good condition, 250 Ah, man. Uh, they need to come down on that some. Looks like he's got a couple of guitars sitting there that he's wanting to sell. Uh, let's see if we can get some better. The neck looks good. Let's see. Hmm. Uh. See, we got to see what he's what he's uh, charging for shipping as well. It's clean. It's clean. I gotta say, it's clean. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me go back. What's this right up here? Right up here. Is it just me, or is that something that's missing on the? Or it's scuffed up a little bit. Looks like. Uh, right here. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Huh. I wonder what's up with that. Yeah, let's see. He doesn't show the back of the headstock, though, does he? You got the front, but... I don't see the back of the body there, but I don't see... There he does, right there. Okay, all right. Yeah, I just wanted to... See, it says right here, it says Ernie Ball, right there. And he's charging... What? Let me close this up. 250 uh, And he's charging $50 for shipping. You see this? Damn, three hundred bucks. 
Ah. Well, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. He he says right here. He says right here. Uh, right here. He says note the photos uh, of the headstock or the photo of the headstock. Previous owner repaired dings with some sort of cosmetic paint. Huh. Okay. Let's read some more here. Uh, no case, but I'll pack and ship it with care. <laughs> well, that's what they have gig bags for, son. So I'm wondering if apparently he, he I don't know how long he's had this. He doesn't say how long he's had it, does he? Uh this item is sold as described and cannot be returned unless it arrives in a condition different from how it was described or photographed. Items must be returned in original as shipped condition with all original packaging. Wow, I tell you what. See that's this is what I this is what I like. I mean this is you got fifteen watchers it says now. Eh, let's see. I wish I could see I wish you had a close up of the Floyd Rose, but it looks just like my, my red one. It looks just like it, except it's just I love that color. I mean yeah, it's got a ding on it up there, big deal. Who cares? I mean, my red one was used. And uh shoot man, I I that son of a gun there boy, damn, it plays fantastically. He don't have uh he don't have uh, best offer, does he? Man. I wish he could go two fifty all the way around. I'd get it. I would get it. If he could go two fifty all the way around. Hmm. There's some down here. Look at this down here. Fender player strap Floyd Rose HSS. See, that's what I wanted originally. Look down here at the bottom left. EVH Wolfgang Special in that. They call it a Ferrari red or is that the standard? I can't remember, but I just say red. That's what I was originally wanting when I wanted my very first Wolfgang special was red, but they didn't, uh, American Musical didn't have them, they didn't have them, so, so, wasn't able to do that, yeah, I'd like to have this, I'm telling you, man, these, these, uh, OLPs, well, the Floyd Rose, uh, man, I'm very happy with my other one. Very, very satisfied, man. Things has 15 watchers on it. Man. I would ask him if he'd go for just 250 all the way around. <sighs> but, hmm. Well, 728 views. And this guy has 33 positive uh ratings wow all positive feedback that's great let's check him out what is he is he selling other stuff let's see he has quite a few things don't he so oh lord i don't know about that fender telecaster on the end with that Spoon handle, Bigsby Trembler. Those things are. I know that's old timey, but man, that's ugly as hell. You don't. He don't have many things, does he? Just a uh, Yamaha acoustic and that. Uh, them guitars don't appeal to me. The only thing that looks decent to me is that OLP. I don't know. Huh. Well. Let's see here. Now, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what these things would go for brand new. 
the OLP MM1s. But here's one they're saying it's brand new. It's 589. That is, that's high, man. That's high. But, you know, like I said, I got mine for, uh, and, you know, 250 used. So maybe, I don't know, 589. Oof. It's got a Floyd Rose, see? Uh, man, that's a pretty color, isn't it? Damn. What is the deal with this? Am I just seeing something different here? Okay. I just don't know. That's. I just don't know about. See, OLP officially licensed product. That's what I remember when I first got mine years ago. I was like, what the hell does that mean? There you go. It says on the back, Ernie Ball, licensed by Ernie Ball. Hmm. $589. And he's wanting 30. So you, shit. Man. And he's wanting 35 shipping. Man. I don't think so, cuz. You're going to have to come down on that a little bit. Yeah, man, that's that's six hundred and twenty four bucks altogether. That's uh I mean it's it's gorgeous, but I just don't I just don't see it myself. I just don't see it. Here you go. The uh EVH seventy nine Bumblebee tribute model, uh black with yellow stripe body and a case. $19,799.99 but you have to put down only $15,799.99 down oh my god good lord yeah I remember this came out earlier this year right look at that 20 grand holy smokes man oh that's I think that is more for somebody uh that's like a collector and they'd hang it on their wall or uh I wouldn't hang that on the wall. I that would be put up in a safe or <laughs> in a bulletproof glass case or, a, or something. Good God, man. Twenty grand. Whew. That is crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can save a ton of money if we just get the uh, Ibanez Joe Satriani signature Chrome Boy. Look at that. It's only five grand. <laughs> five grand. Wow, man. Good Lord. As low as one thirty nine a month. By the way, we're on Sweetwater right now. I don't know if I said that. I don't I don't never shop at Sweetwater. I, I have uh, a couple of times with something very minuscule. But, uh, yeah, this guitar, I've always loved this guitar. I, I didn't, man, look at that. Oh, man. Good Lord, five grand. That's a, that is a beautiful guitar. That is uh, something that'll be forever out of my reach. I can tell you that now. Oh, it's got a thing for a nine volt battery, I guess, for the uh, pickup right there in the back. How about that? Oh. Uh. It's a beautiful guitar though, but mm, five thousand dollars. No, thank you, man. Good Lord Almighty! Oh, it's got a Substaniac. Okay, that's why. Okay, uh, that's cool. I love to have one of those, but twenty-four Fritz. Huh. Well, that's cool, man. But, uh, too rich for my blood. I can tell you that now. Okay, now we're on Musician's Friend. Uh, Musician's Friend is another one that I don't never mess with because, uh, last I remember, they don't do payments. Uh, they have something called promo financing for 48 months, but, nah, they're, uh, you just can't keep up with AMS, man. They're just uh, 
as far as their uh, stuff goes, the payment plan with no financing. And I mean, you know, Sweetwater gives them a run for their money, but AMS, man, by far, in my opinion, is, oh man, they got them beat. So anyway, I've been trying to look for some OLPs. Uh, Sweetwater didn't didn't have anything. Uh, I remember looking a while back, and uh, I can't remember if it was a musician's friend or Sweetwater actually had some OLPs. Uh, a few, I think it was Sweetwater, um, but I can't seem to find anything now. Uh, Nothing at all. Maybe I have to go back and I don't know. Go back and put Ernie Ball. Maybe I I don't know. That's kind of a kind of a stretch. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if this will help or not. Let's see. Let's go to Ernie Ball Music, man. I know that's probably totally different, but <clears throat> they don't have anything. Oh, here we go. I was like, say what? Oh, yeah, all the expensive stuff. Well, Ernie Ball is, they're great, uh, great quality. What the hell? Look at that in the middle. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, you got a lot of John Petrucci, or is it Petrucci? Yeah, you looking at some high-end stuff here, boy. Two, three, four grand. There's one for five grand, over five grand. Yep, Ernie Ball is a totally different beast. Yeah, I can't find no more. OLPs, man. Huh. OLP MM1. Nope. Nothing. So, I guess the only place you can find them maybe is on eBay. Let's go there next. All right, bam. We're on eBay. And look at this. Somebody done striped one up. Let me get this X off here. It's driving me crazy. It won't let me do it. All right. Look at this. Ah, 375 or best offer. Let's see. 22 watching. Let's see how good it looks. If it's, uh, looks like a, is that a Marshall micro stack on there? <laughs> Let's see if it's going to pull it up. There we go. I thought I thought I did, but I didn't. Damn. Let's see. 375. Let me see here. Let's take a look. Huh. He's he's got his decals on there. They're a little crooked, but <laughs> Ernie Ball Music Man Axis. Yeah, he's he stuck those those on there. Those aren't. This is a this is an OLP MM1, so it's not a full fledged Ernie Ball Music Man Axis. There's, I know better than that. Yeah, see right there in the back, OLP. <laughs> but uh, they don't look that bad. I don't think. What do y'all think? Doesn't look that bad. I wonder if he's got any more. Three seventy five. <laughs> Let's see if he's got any. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Now what? Look at this. Two twenty five fifty one with a uh, Floyd Rose. Huh. Two twenty five fifty one. Free shipping. Last one. 
Yeah, there we go. I want to see what he's got going on here on his description. Does he not have a description here? Let me see here. Let me see if I can figure something out. Never mind. He he wants, and he's got $55 shipping. Uh, no, nah. I want to go down to this one right down in here. All right, this is where you have to be careful. This is a beautiful OLP. And it's got a Floyd Rose. It's even got a chrome knob on it, it looks like, volume knob. But it's coming from uh, China, uh, shipping from China. And, yeah, I just don't think uh, I wouldn't. I mean, it's uh, it doesn't even have a, any fine tuners on it. You see that? What? <laughs> what is that? Am I missing something? Yeah, it does. Okay. I see it there. God damn. I, I was about to say, wait a minute. I see him on there now. Okay. I'm just, man. I was about to say, what? Yeah, that's not cool, man. Not from uh, free shipping from China and all that. Oh, man, that's a... Uh, uh, I'd stay out of that. Well, we're back on the front page here when I typed in OLP MM1, and you know you see the striped one up there, which uh, doesn't look bad for what, what they've done to it. The headstock and all that's painted. It looks pretty cool. I don't, I don't think that's bad for three seventy-five. He wants fifty-five dollars shipping. Uh, uh, if I were to offer something for that, I would give him a. Uh, I would have to. He's fifty-five dollars shipping, so uh, I'd probably maybe maybe ask him to go uh, three hundred, something like that. He probably wouldn't do that though. He's looking to make some money, I guess, but still, it's got twenty-two watching. But nobody's wanting to pull the trigger on that, I don't think. You know, it doesn't seem that way. So let's see. Uh, but see, we don't. There's not many. OLP MM ones on here. There's a. There's one with a quilt top. I, yeah, I've had those before. I had one just like that. But I can't believe. Uh, and here's one. Um, Pre-owned for the same price. And uh, I don't think it has a gig bag. I don't think, or they say soft case, but we call them gig bags, right? I mean, look at this pre-owned 199. I guess they don't sell these anymore. I mean, I don't. I you don't see them no more. I mean, we'll go down here. Look, 384 from Japan, and there's another one uh, from Canada. Uh, and that's it. I mean, that's all that's left. You don't see any more on this page. I don't believe so. Let me try one more time. I think it's just parts and uh, let's see. No more MM ones though. Wow. Are those starting to become a thing of the past? Or what? I mean Huh. That is something else, man, because I remember these guitars, you could you used to, well, I did, you used to see them quite a bit. Uh, well, it's been, it's been some time back, but are they losing their popularity? I guess they are. Um, I've always had good luck with these guitars. I mean, yeah, wait a minute, I, I have had a few that were, uh, see, I didn't, this is how long ago it was, I didn't know how to do a setup. I didn't know how to do a setup back then, and now I do. Now I know how to, you know, you have to turn the tr uh, truss rod, you know, adjust the truss rod rather, you know, make some other adjustments, you know, intonation, your action, and uh, I still wish I had some of these. I had a solid black one OLP that I got from AMS, I believe. Um, uh, I've had a brown one, like you see, I, and I bought uh, two of these brown ones right here. At one time, I bought one for uh, myself and one for my son. And uh, 
Yeah, see, they're good looking guitars. That's that's. I mean, it's got that cheap ass uh, tremolo system on it. I mean, that it's just like the, my purple one. So you know, I've had a couple of brown ones like this, and um, it, I I wish now I would have kept it because now I know how to make adjustments. You know, like you're supposed to. Back then, I didn't know. But you know, I ended up. Uh, I gave mine to my son, so he had two of them, so he he probably traded them off. Let me check AMS one more time and see if they have them. I didn't check there. Uh, all I saw was the uh, that Eddie Van Halen $20,000 guitar. Let me check with him one more time. Nope, nothing on AMS. They don't have anything. Man, that sucks. Okay, when all else fails, go to Google. So we did. So we, I see two of them right here. Unless it's the same thing, I don't know. But it's Guitar Center used. So let's see. I don't know. And it's used. It's one ninety nine when it's used. Good condition. I don't understand why they're charging one ninety nine when it's used when you could when they were uh that they were that when it was uh new. <sighs> and, oh, you see some damage right here. Right here in the uh right there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there ain't no telling how long this person's had this thing, so. Uh, where is this? Uh, does it say where this is from? Let me see if I can go back to the other listing. See if it's the same same one. Okay, here's the first listing. And, and I'm going to tell you, the just the finish on this thing looks incredible. That is a beautiful uh Flame finish there. That is man, that looks great. One ninety nine. Uh, they still mark it as in good condition. Um, let me see, man. I don't know. Let's check out some of the pictures. Um, let's see. Tap on this here. Damn, that finish looks good, boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, too bad you can't fit a Floyd on here, which, I mean, I guess you could. You might have to route out some stuff. I don't know, but that's way, that's too much crap I want to deal with. Yeah, that finish looks good, though, man. 199 used. I still, I, again, I'm telling you, man, AMS used to have these all day long, Um, you know, years ago. I wish I could remember the year I got mine. It was probably um uh I probably got mine around two thousand two, two thousand three is when I got my purple OLP. So you know, you're looking at uh sixteen, seventeen years ago. So I guess these things are fading out. I guess they're just, you know, People aren't interested in them no more, you know. And, uh, and you know, it is what it is. Competition out there is something else. But anyway, if they're going away, I hate to see that because I've always been happy with them. Uh, like, I st like I said before, not to beat a dead horse, but when they first came out back then, they were one ninety nine brand new. How they're asking for these 200 bucks with them used is beyond me. They should be asking, you know, at least 150. I mean, I know Guitar Center or, or anybody is get, trying to make some money to stay in business, but look at this real quick before we wrap up. Look, there's like we look, here's one that's used 250. 250. That's, that's just, you see what I mean? That's for the people who just don't know any better, man. They just don't know any better. It's, you know. <clears throat> Dang, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy.
Anyway, well, so much for the OLP Ernie Ball MM1s. I guess that's Music Man 1. <laughs> and uh, that's going to do it for me. Uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. I didn't mean for this to be so long, but uh, I hope you had a great Christmas. And until next time, we will see you later. Take care, everybody. Thanks again. Don't forget to check the links below now. Check everything out down there and uh, check out social media links, uh, links to my music, uh, merch, all kind of cool stuff. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.